Hi guys, welcome to the channel. This is Yvonne from Ginger Chick Rehab. Thank you for hopping on and checking out what I got this week. Yes, this is my weekly thrift haul. Praise the Lord that I've been able to find stuff here in the wintertime in Michigan. So yes, I still have my Christmas tree up, though I took all my Santas down. I'm still enjoying, um, yeah, I leave it up for a little while. I absolutely love the lights on these dark, dreary nights here in Michigan. So anyway, so this week's um, thrift haul is going to be a combination of me going daily to my local Goodwill, I did go out of town one day and then I'm adding a little bit of an auction haul in with it to make a haul. They're just, you know, you, you never know. You never know what's out there that you're going to find. You never know even if you leave town, if you're going to find anything and even going to an auction, if somebody's going to outbid you because I like to give you guys a fair price and sell things to you. So I want to make sure that when I'm buying it, I'm making a profit too. So anyway there there's that so let me get into the haul and it's funny because these pieces seem to be bigger pieces not there wasn't a lot of smalls this week for whatever reason i do have some makeovers i do have some resell so let's get into this haul and i'm sorry about my hair oh my gosh i actually right before i filmed this i ran to my local goodwill to see if there was anything else i could and it's like a misty rain snow going on right now so if you have natural curly hair or anybody's hair it just whew, it goes wild so let's get right into the haul so first of all i took this off one of their carts at my local goodwill a beautiful primitive shelf that really i don't need to do anything to so it was 6.29 um i like to have shelves i can't tell you that shelves sell fast you know, you really have to be really redoing your space or looking for a shelf. But this is nice to have. Um, we'll see how it cleans up when I dust it if I need to give it a fresh coat of paint because I don't know if you could tell. Um, it's that that rough pine, you know, where dust just collects in there and that bothers my little OCD. <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, we'll see how it cleans up. I could not. I, this caught my eye. I'm like, look, it, it's a chicken wire cloche. So this was $2 at the Bibles for Mission thrift store when I went out of town. I really didn't find it that much, but I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't even need to do anything to this. So cute to put up, you know, in a display, cover something up. Oh my gosh, it was just, it's too sweet. I don't know if I've ever seen one of these that hasn't been a, like a handmade piece. And then I absolutely love these. I love these little picture trees, I call them. This was for... For 29 I love these. I love to put old postcards on them, pictures on them. I have a couple in my booth, so it's nice to have a couple in the inventory. You know, you can fan them out however you want. You can put letters or you can put just so many options. You can change old vintage postcards for the seasons. So many ideas with these, these pictures. And I like when it's just a general like the silverish color and then this big scoop caught my eye is this not handy dandy so this was 250 at the bible's permission just a nice big scoop i guess you could use it for your baked goods or um cat food dog food <laughs> any food bird seed uh, but yeah i absolutely and then i thought it was neat because when i read it it says 250 made in Germany. So I don't know, can you all see that? Can you see that it says made in Germany? So I thought, oh, that that's cool. That's probably one of the biggest ones I picked up. Now I thought this was very unique. Now this is just a, like, I, a little bird cage. Um, I won't do anything to it. I absolutely love the patina, other than I might put decor in it. Now I did those primitive little that I auctioned off um, <laughs> and everybody said do I sell things like that in my booth well the problem is if, when you group things together and you stage them people assume that they're for sale individually so no I really can't unless like this where it's closed off and I could like tape it shut and say this is all for sale this is how I could sell it in our in our booth the other things on the little old primitive black um little cubbies no i wouldn't have been able to unless i wrapped them in plastic because people would have been like well i want that candle or i want that pit berry or i want so it's nice to find a a bird cage like that 
Now this piece is funny. It was $6.29 and I know I have actually made these over and they are from the Dollar General. So um, a few videos back, if I can remember to link it, I will. But yes, I actually bought some of these when it was cost efficient to buy at <laughs> um, <laughs> Dollar General. It is not now. It is not cost efficient to buy something and flip it for profit at all. I can give you ideas, but not it will not be profitable. But I still I thought, oh, hey, I'll have to go back to that video and remember what I did with it. And then for $3.29, it was a wire dress form. Now you all, I have another video where I actually put um, drop cloth fabric and made a little mannequin out of them. So I don't know if I'll do that with this one um or i'll leave it as is because i feel like they sold really quick when i did that that was kind of fun i like the wire as is so i may leave it as is because the other ones i did were like bright colors or somebody's um not nice nice so nice paint job so you know i i may leave it as is i say that but until i it just looks at me and i can't i can't help it so i found these letters at oh my gosh they're so heavy so at first I saw these letters and I thought, oh, they're probably just cheap Hobby Lobby letter, you know, somebody painted it. And actually they're heavy metal. So we have L, O, V and E. <laughs> so they're heavy. And then when I flipped around, they're actually anthropology. So $18 a letter. But there's just the, I could tell when I picked them up, it was just a nice heavy letter. Um, if you have a family wall, if you have a, a table or area that you put all your pictures of your family members and your friends in it, wouldn't that not be cute? Especially if you have a wedding picture, you know, a mantle or anything love, especially with the, um, Valentine's Day coming up. I thought, oh, I have to, I have to grab those. They're just, they're just, you could just tell they were nice quant, quant. You can just tell they were nice quality. That's the word I'm looking for, quality. And then I did pick up this little pit. I love this time of year when people get gifts and they, I don't know if they give gifts and then they don't want them and they turn them into the thrift stores, but a bag of primitive pit berries with some smellies, even though I can't smell. You know, these were $12 and they were $2.29 at the Goodwill. Um, so, I, I mean, I know that these are not a cheap item. And these, I don't know if this was a, you know, my my thrift store um, Goodwill gets some Target returns. So there was a couple of these little Magnolia Home Wash Your Hands. Porce, they're almost like a porcelain um, ceramic, maybe ceramic. And so they hang so that they would hang. So that was, I think they were like two, two ninety nine. So I don't get to visit Target um, too awful much. So I don't know how old or new or what era they, they were from. Then at the Salvation Army, this bowl caught my eye. At first I thought maybe it was a pottery piece. Look at that, is that not beautiful? Seven ninety nine. It's actually, it's actually metal. It is metal. I just absolutely love it. The patina is just gorgeous. Put a little wicker balls in there, leave it as is if you don't want anything. It's flat enough you could have a candle if you wanted one, but oh my gosh, look at that. Beautiful patina. Um, maybe it is. Okay, I take that back. It sounds like metal, but now that I'm looking at the back, you know, you, it's a grab and go at the thrift store, y'all. It actually is a signed pottery piece. So it says candy, right? Oh. No, Linda, Linda, right there. Linda, oh, I, I, when I tapped it, I really thought that it was metal. What do you know? So, it, oh my gosh, it's even better that it is a signed pottery piece. Amazing, amazing. That's, this is what I envision when I put this in air dry clay and I want it to look like that. <laughs> I can't say that it matches. It, it does. It does by any means. And then I spied this little guy for $5.99. Look, and he reminds me of those, you know, those, um, what are those 50 poodles that has the spaghetti, the spaghetti poodles. Oh my gosh. He's pretty heavy, y'all. He's pretty heavy. He's like a plaster of some sort, but oh, that little face. Oh, the little sheep. Oh my gosh. 
And I'll insert, if you saw the picture, there was a carousel type of swan. And I really wanted it, but I couldn't lift it. <laughs> I'm like, hmm. <laughs> I'm like, okay, how am I going to get it in my car without breaking it? And then the brass part wasn't attached. It just kind of sat there. And I thought, you know what? This is my sign. No, it's going to end up getting broken if I can't lift it myself. I know there's a will, there's a way, but I don't know. I just, I just, I couldn't. I wanted it so bad. I could see making that over really bad. And then I, for $4.99, I did pick up this white, plain white cookie jar only because it's Pottery Barn. <laughs> so, you know, sometimes because name brands do sell, you know, I'm not necessarily looking for name brands. But people associate name brands with good qual qua they associate name brands with good quality. So yes, I would pick that up. I hope when I take the tape off that the it's got a good seal. If not, it's a pretty cookie jar. <laughs> Talking about brand names. I actually saw this little in a box and I'm like, oh, it's restoration hardware. And I've actually resold on eBay pieces of restoration hardware. So I opened it up to see what was inside, because you never know. And they are just some used candlesticks. There's a little trio, and the candles were in here. Um, but yes, they just need cleaned up. They're nice and heavy. They all say restoration hardware. And if you shop that store, you know, there's the candles. Um, you know that these were not inexpensive by any means back in the day. So I'm not sure how old they are. Um, a heat gun and some time, I can get that wax cleaned off and then I won't polish them or anything. I like when things start to age, that patina that it makes. So yeah, and I am really a fan of the battery operated <laughs> candles so then you don't have to deal with all, maybe it's because I don't have to deal with all that wax I need to clean up. And then I did find a bread box. <laughs> Look at this little guy, six twenty nine. Oh my gosh, I love, I love that it's natural wood. Oh, do I ever love that it's natural wood because it's a blank slate. So yes, thank you. Oh, and then talk about battery operated candles with the four twenty nine. Some new. <laughs> a pillar can't pillar are they pillar I I know these are votives and they're tapers so I think these are pillars so yeah okay and there was I actually saw something I wanted to do with this size of a candle so I was glad to run across that I always check the thrift store before before I go out and buy something what kind of like this lantern <laughs> I didn't want the lantern I wanted the light. So I had a craft that I wanted to do for you also that I needed one of these lights. So for $5.29, instead of ordering off of Ikea, yes, I don't need that. I can redonate that. This is actually not paper, it's plastic. That's different. And then in the kitchen section for $2.29, it was a old Maxwell House tin with the lid. These are just awesome old tins. Yes, for if they're, when they're a couple bucks. Sometimes it's funny, you know, how Goodwill is, you know, like those Starbucks mugs for $15.29. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, that's what I resold my last one for was like $15. So on eBay. So anyway, yeah. So I was happy because sometimes you never know. There was a little bag I didn't show, but there was a little bag with a little tin in it. I don't know how old the tin was at another Goodwill and it was 20 bucks. So I'm like, oh, I mean, I know everybody's got to make their money. I get that, but oh, yeah, you get so excited and then you get so let down. I think that's the problem. And then I saw these two and funny, I was just in Menards and you know, Menards just had their, you know, Menards is funny. They don't go 50% off their holiday stuff to like February, I think, but and I they had some candles that sticks kind of similar to these, and so I looked and they were still they was still going to be twelve and fourteen dollars a piece, and I cannot believe that these were two twenty nine a piece, and these were actually a world market. It looked like they were a world market, then a world market clearance, <laughs> and then maybe a Salvation Army clearance. <laughs> <laughs> or Salvation Army, that looks like there's tag, and then down to Goodwill. But 
they're beautiful wood candlesticks. I don't even know, other than I, I do like to add that piece of wood to them. So who knows, who knows what I'll do. And then I just have a few more pieces to share with you all before I get into what we got at the auction. So today's find um, were these beautiful handmade pottery pieces again. It's a signed piece. I can't read the signature at all. Um, and it does have a beautiful lid. Now I paid up on these, I paid $10.29, but a handmade signed pottery piece, I felt like that that is worth it. I have to look them up. And then I got this other guy, and that name's a little bit clearer. A little bit. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. And then, yes, this had a lid also. So, I mean, I really tried to look them over, make sure there wasn't any chips, cracks, or anything. Um, so, yeah. Very nice. Nice pottery pieces. And then my last find, if you think I paid $10.29 for those and I paid up, I paid up. A little bit more even for this. So I paid $20.29 for this. Yes, I did. $20.29. But it's unique. It is a Hobby Lobby piece. And we all know what Hobby Lobby charges even when they have their sales. Um, I just recently did a video um, that's coming up of painting this New Age Galvanized to make it look old. So my plan with this piece was to do the same thing. Sometimes... I know I'll take a little harassment. You put so much work into it, you're not selling it for... Sometimes it's about sharing what to do with that item. And this is one of those pieces. I know that I can make my money back. I can at least double, if not triple, my money back even after I paint this because it's such a unique piece. Um, yeah. So, I yep, I did pay up. So sometimes sometimes it's about a video for y'all so that was it for what i got going every day to a thrift store here locally going once out of town and then now i'll pop into my shop and share with you what i got <laughs> um yes what i got at a new year's day a new year's day yep on new year's day we did a auction. <laughs> so, hey, you got to take them when they come. Here are the goods from the new auction house that we tested out. Oh my gosh, right off the bat, look at this wagon. You know, perks of being able to get an outdoor booth is that, yeah, I have to save this for spring, but oh my gosh, look at that amazing wagon. Oh, just even if it doesn't sell, look good in the booth, right? Yeah. <laughs> so some things just look good in the booth. And then this, I'm gonna call it a berry basket. Look at the age and patina of this beauty and the size. Oh my gosh, the size is just gorgeous. Nothing needs to be done with this. Oh my gosh, what a centerpiece that this would make. I love that this actually rolls. <laughs> uh, there's just so much character with the beadboard down there. Oh my gosh. And then I saw this in the auction pictures online, and I'm like, oh my gosh. It's a little, look at, it's a little rolling cart. I don't know why people throw garbage in, but it's a rolling cart. So some of this new aged galvanized that I picked up I knew I wanted to do a makeover video for you all. So that is one of the pieces that I would like to, because it's just Hobby Lobby galvanized. So nothing terribly special about it. And then this little butler, I've seen the metal ones, you know, that, you know, the rock cast iron that's outside. This little butler is adorable. He's quirky. He is just so quirky to have at your front door. Oh my gosh, if he had a covered porch, because don't put him in the weather. He is just too, too cute. So I picked him up. I'm sorry, I, I couldn't help myself. And then look at this rusty, crusty welcome. Now this matches some of the other stuff that we do put out in our booth. And it's one of those things. If, if it doesn't end up selling with all the rust that it has, then we can always you know, paint it. But first of all, you try. It almost looks like a homemade, you know, somebody knew how to um, 
cut, you know, metal, metal cutting. I'm not sure there's a word for that. Um, yeah, so I just thought it was really cool. It, it was nice to find in the middle of winter <laughs> some outdoor booth things. And then we did pick up this chicken basket. These always are good, especially in the red color. And now these are one of those little old-fashioned viewfinders. Now this one does not have the glasses in it, so it's just or the does not have glass in it. And I actually have one in my own decor. It's just nice to be a decor. But this one, the viewfinder, it does have the glass and a ton, a ton of the sheets. Now I, um, I this is something I would pop on eBay. Look at that. That's fun. That one's in color. Um, I would pop this on eBay. Um, get a little wider audience there. Chris did get some wrenches, so he was pretty happy about that. Look at the beautiful, and thank you for the viewers who have been suggesting that he sells some of the tools on eBay. That has gone really well. Thank you all if you have purchased. So these are just beautiful, just beautiful. This one says something. Um, without a jeweler's eye sometimes or the right light. My gosh, it's so hard to get get to know what it's saying, but it does have some wording on it. So I think he will be popping those on eBay because they're very pretty. These are just fun, these old mashers. <laughs> I've seen lots of people actually put their toilet paper rolls on them. Um, I just think they're nice decor pieces. And yes, a couple little bins, that new age galvanized. I bought those at a set. And this canister set, I can't, can you tell how big that flower container is? And really the new age galvanized, you know, this was at the end of the auction. They're telling us, Hey, what do you want to bid on? And nobody wanted to bid on that. And I'm like, okay, well then I will see if I can get it so I can paint it over. Even though I love the stenciling on it. Um, yeah, it just, I think people are looking for, you know, something a little bit more vintage looking. So that video will come up soon. And then um, this Budweiser um, banner actually what came in with this. It was a two for one. <laughs> so I don't know if we'll resell that or Chris will hang it up the shop because, you know, he does collect at Budweiser. And you're all like, hey, go back to the swan. Yeah, okay. So here is the swan. Yes, luckily people were leaving at the end of the auction and I did get my hands on this beautiful, oh, beautiful swan. It's not huge. But it doesn't need to be huge because it is just beautiful. Oh my gosh. I'll probably pop that on eBay. Um, a lot of times on these lights, I always seem to have multiple people that want them. So I end up doing an auction. I don't do a lot of auctions only when I know it's so it's so hard, y'all. <laughs> you know, so well, well, I'll probably pop that on an auction. So that is what we got on that Sunday of New Year's Day. <laughs> New Year's Day. Hey, why not? <laughs> Chris gave up the Lions game, so I'm like, oh, well, he must have definitely liked the auctioning <laughs> more than the Lions game, even though they did win that game. Yay! Anyway, so this is the haul. So thank you so much for watching today's video and what was the item that I found? What was your favorite item? I had so many, I just, and I cannot believe that they're all so large. <laughs> it just, there's not any really smalls other than that, that swan lamp, y'all. Yeah, so go check that out. I did put that on an auction. And as always, if you see something, I, this, this, this haul's a little bit bigger, so it may not be one of those that'll be a lot on eBay this time. That's just how it happens. I may add a couple other things that I have in my stash because I'm slowly doing my um, glassware a little by little because I just decided I just cannot, I can't fit in the whatnot. I just, you have to, you, can, you can't possibly do it all. It's too hard. <laughs> so yeah, that's my New Year's. I can't do it all. So anyway, thank you again for watching guys and we will see you next time and you can see what we're up to. Bye.